These allow you to share your expertise on a specific topic, and it not only positions you as an authority in your field, but it also keeps your audience interested, engaged, and more importantly, it keeps your brand at the forefront of their minds. Welcome to the Master Your Business podcast, where we bring you the best in branding, marketing, and customer experience strategies. I'm Deirdre Martin, your host, and if you've been asking yourself, how to level up your growing business, your marketing, your customer experience, or how to make more of an impact with your brand, this show is for you. You'll discover actionable tips and insights to help businesses just like yours gain clarity and illuminate the path to success. Train with industry experts, learn sales and marketing strategies, business and mindset hacks, and be inspired by authentic entrepreneurship stories. As your host, I'll share the no-nonsense advice that accelerated my journey from boring bank manager to industry thought leader in marketing and customer experience. Learn how I made the leap into the world of six-figure success, digital courses, keynote speaking, and co-authoring a number one bestseller in just one year. Together with interviews from industry experts, this show ensures you're seen, heard, and hired by your ideal clients. Join our growing community of subscribers and let the Master Your Business podcast empower you to tackle your most significant challenges on your path to business success. Don't miss out. It's your turn to learn from the best and master your dream business. Whether you're joining us over your morning cup of coffee or during your evening commute, either way, we are thrilled to have you here. Today, we're going to delve into a topic that, in my opinion, is of paramount importance, yet often gets overlooked. And I'm talking about lead generation for service-based businesses. We understand the inclination to sidestep this subject, but I assure you that this conversation is going to be critical for your business's growth because lead generation, particularly for service-based businesses, can feel a little bit like navigating a maze or maybe trying to push water uphill (laughs) because let's face it in service-based businesses the value proposition is often invisible so therefore it's quite intangible and I don't know about you but I see those product-based guys online and I'm looking at their physical flashy products with a tad of envy 100% that's me Well, let me just add that service-based businesses sell something less concrete, but of no less value because they sell trust, expertise, and they sell solutions. And the struggle in generating leads is real, right? I mean, I've experienced it too. I've had dry spells in my business where I've had no sales for weeks. And sometimes I've even had weeks where I've had no sales calls. And as you know, on the Master Your Business show, we don't just discuss challenges. We also propose solutions, practical, implementable strategies that will leave you thinking, why didn't I think of this before? So settle in, maybe with a cookie or a cuppa of whatever your choice or preference is and prepare to engage in a deep dive into lead generation. You are definitely going to want your pen and paper for this one or your laptop ready to take notes. So stay with us because it's time to convert your intangible offerings into tangible success. And may I kindly take a moment of your time to request a small but significant favor? If you haven't yet done so, I would greatly appreciate your assistance in expanding the reach of the Master Your Business show. I encourage you to share the link of this episode, the one you're currently tuning into with your professional circles. This particular episode is definitely compact. It's going to be so rich in so many ways. So they'll surely appreciate the concise and valuable insights that you're sharing. Once you've finished listening to the episode and if you found it enjoyable, I kindly ask you to rate it and subscribe to our show. Your ratings and reviews, they play a vital role in enhancing the visibility of the podcast and the algorithm and enabling it to reach and inspire budding entrepreneurs like yourself. Right, get ready as we're about to delve into 10 different lead magnet ideas. Let's get rolling. Okay, lead magnet idea number one, an ebook or a white paper. 
These allow you to share your expertise on a specific topic, and it not only positions you as an authority in your field, but it also keeps your audience interested, engaged, and more importantly, it keeps your brand at the forefront of their minds. So you could create something like that on Canva. Canva have fantastic templates available, and I'm going to share a link for Canva Pro in the show notes so you can access it there. If you've never tried it before, Canva, it's a great tool. It's so much easier to use than any of the others I've ever tried. And if you ever get stuck for content creation ideas, it's the place to go. Okay, idea number two, a free webinar or a free course. So you can teach a valuable skill or impart knowledge that your audience craves. This can make it like an educational buffet that they won't want to resist. Idea number three, you could potentially give a free consultation. You could give your potential clients a taste of what you can do for them. It's like a free sample at perfume shop, but even better because you also get to test out these clients and see if they are actually your ideal customer. Idea number four, an exclusive community. You could start a private Facebook group or a private LinkedIn group where you offer exclusive content. It's kind of like the VIP room of social media. And by the way, if you didn't know, I've started one of those for the podcast. You can find the link to sign up for exclusive content and access to bonus and secret episodes in the show notes. So sign up today. Again, you'll find the link in the show notes. Idea number five is a comprehensive checklist. So simplify a complex process for your audience, something you know that they do every day that, you know, maybe causes them angst or frustration. And by giving them a checklist, it's a little like giving them a compass in the wild jungle of their problems. We all love checklists to make sure we're doing things right or in the most efficient way. Idea number six, a discount or a special offer. You can entice your audience with a limited time offer they can't refuse. Scarcity and urgency entice people to make a decision and act fast. I get sucked in every time my favorite airline has those discounts for summer flights to my favorite holiday destination. Every year, without fail, I'm sucked in. Idea number seven, a quiz or an assessment, right? Everyone loves to learn about themselves. Plus, it gives you insights into your audience's needs. Idea eight, a free trial. Let your potential clients try your service. Once they experience the magic you provide, they're going to be hooked. Idea number nine, a valuable template or a blueprint. Save your audience time and effort with a ready-to-use template. It's like giving them a treasure map to success. It's going to make their life easier or better or their business better in some way. And finally, idea number 10, an engaging infographic. Deliver valuable information in a visually appealing way. It's like transforming your wisdom into a beautiful painting. So there you have it, folks, 10 lead magnet ideas to roll your way to success. But remember, the aim of a lead magnet is to provide value and solve a problem and basically make your audience crave more and want to work with you. And the one thing I always say with lead magnets is that don't scrimp on the value that you put into your lead magnets, because if you think of it like this, and again, it's the same example I always give. I can blow dry my hair perfectly fine by myself. But if I'm going somewhere nice, I'll go to the salon and I'll get my hair blow dried there because they just do it that bit better than I can do myself. So in the lead magnet, when you pack in value, people are going to do it themselves. They still need you. They're still going to need your services to help them get it to that next level. So don't scrimp on the value because, you know, you're going to, people are going to say, oh my gosh, I can't believe they gave me that for free. Imagine what you get if you paid to work with them. So once you've created the lead magnet, you know, you might be thinking, well, what do I do with it then? How do I get, how do I use this to really drive leads in my business? And now it's all well and good, as I said, creating loads of different lead generate, generation strategies, but 
It's actually, how do you get people to take you up on this incredible offer? And I don't know about you, but on my entrepreneurial journey, this is exactly where I've found myself stuck before and what's caused me to have those dry spells. So I'm going to share with you five simple strategies that I implemented to help me create my six-figure business. Okay, strategy number one, content is king. And king is content. You've heard it before, but it's so worth repeating. Regularly posting, engaging, relevant, and valuable content is key. It keeps your audience interested, engaged, and more importantly, it keeps your brand at the forefront of their mind. So when you post your content, include a call to action, and that call to action is to avail of your freebie. So that's how you get your lead generator and you use it to start to drive leads. So valuable content and the call to action at the end of the valuable content is, here's my freebie, take it up, sign up here. Okay, strategy number two, host some giveaways or contests because people love freebies. So you can host a giveaway or a, content, a contest on social media and that can rapidly increase your visibility, your followers and your leads. You can ask people to share your content with others or to tag others on the competition. And all of that is gonna drive traffic to your social media profile. And in turn, these are new people that you can now offer your freebie to. Okay, strategy number three. Utilize Facebook and Instagram stories. They are a fantastic way to engage with your audience on a much more personal level. And you can even use the swipe up feature to drive traffic to your website as well. Or, you know, if you have less than 10,000 followers, you might not have access to that swipe up feature, but that's okay because on those platforms now, you can actually add a link in your stories so that people can click directly to where your freebie is housed. And if you're hanging out on LinkedIn, mostly that's where I am these days, I'm on LinkedIn, you can use things like LinkedIn Lives, which is really very underutilized on the platform overall. Plus, there's the featured section you can add to your LinkedIn profile where you can feature your freebie. So you can drive traffic to that if you're on a LinkedIn Live and say, click over to my free featured section and you can pick up my freebie there. So strategy number four, use social proof. So share testimonials, reviews, and success stories. Seeing others rave about your services will encourage potential leads to want a piece of that success pie too. And a bonus tip here is that when you ask people to hand over something that's real value to them, like their email address, because I mean, how many emails do you get every day, right? But when you ask someone to hand over your, their email address, that has a monetary value. So make sure then when they're going first that you're sharing testimonials at the same time. And that way they're going to know it's a safe and worthwhile investment of their time and effort. And finally, strategy number five, engage, 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 respond to comments, like other people's posts, participate in discussions. The more active you are, the more visible your brand becomes and the more traffic you're going to drive to your pages where you are hanging out and offering great and valuable content. And let's be real, social media as a really key nugget in the title there, social. We need to be social on social media. Posting and ghosting just doesn't work. So if you show up and you add that valuable content and you're engaging actively, networking and being social on social media, you are going to drive leads to your business. So there you have it, folks. 10 lead generator ideas and five strategies to scroll your way to success. Remember, social media isn't just about posting, it's about building relationships. So the more you connect with your audience, the more leads you will generate and the more value you give them, the more likely it is that they will become customers. That's it for today's episode. I hope these tips and ideas help and inspire you to conquer the social media game and transform those scrolls into success. Thanks for tuning into the Master Your Business podcast with me, your host, Deirdre Martin. Tune in next time as we continue to help you navigate your journey to success. And by the way, if you've enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to subscribe, rate and review the Master Your Business podcast. Again, it really helps us to reach those people who, like you, want to master their businesses. 
I appreciate your support and look forward to sharing more insights and strategies with you in upcoming episodes. So once again, I'm your host, Deirdre Martin, and it's been a pleasure having you with me today. Until next time, keep mastering your business and generating leads.